Hey guys, it's Sand again. I haven't posted in a while, but I hope you didn't miss me too much. More importantly than this video's topic, I hope you guys are doing well around this time. Things are crazy everywhere, but that doesn't stop us from our love over keyboards and tech. That being said, welcome back. Today, we have a keycap set made by Maxkey. The Miami Knights keycap set. Double shot ABS and SA profile, totaling around 130 keys, and man are these beautiful. I've made a similar review showcase of a pink white variant not too long ago, and these are pretty much the same in terms of design except for its color palette. Maxkey is a company that dishes out keycaps that are very consistent in its profile and color options, meaning they only do SA profile, which is this spherical, tall, thick plastic keycap build you might be familiar with and they don't move away too much from its legends design. Some come with cherry flower novelties and some don't. This version in particular does. The price for these retail for $99, which you would think is a lot. Well, it is. In high quality keycaps, they can range from $100 to more or less $200 if you include things like novelties and their full sets. And that's where Max Key comes in. Having to wait months for group buy keycaps often leaves us impatient sometimes. Having companies like MaxKey deliver high quality keycaps with the convenience of different varieties of styles with a buy anytime, no waits motto, I think that's pretty cool. Though the sample was sent to me by Banggood, that doesn't stop me from being honest in this video. Shipped to you, you get it in this easy compact storage case. My favorite way to store keycaps. Neat and organized into two layers. Top layer, you get your alphanumerical set for fitting 60%. The bottom for TKL, full board, 65, 75% boards plus extra novelties for your row 4 and row 1 for those in need to fill those 1U modifier keys. The Miami Knights color combination is cyan, magenta, and black. It has this really cool neon look to it. The black does give a little shine from illuminated sources. That's always the thing. Though them being ABS, the feeling is soft and not as abrasive as some lower quality ABS. Having double shots also mean you're not going to see any wear and tear anytime soon, if any. Looking for inconsistencies or defects within this key set, it doesn't appear to have any. Well, they do have the same color boldness in some of the legends, which mirror the exact ones from the previous Max Key video. Don't know if this is done on purpose. Nothing too bothersome, just odd. Other than that, legends seem to be aligned. No lines or defects seem to occur in the cooling or molding process. Colors and legends seem to be consistent and clear as well. To me, these are decent, high quality SA keycaps, but that's where it stops for many. A lot of people prefer other types of profiles like Cherry. Not to say that I'm speaking for the general public, but my poll may give some indication of that. Many people see SA keycaps as too bulky, having too much wobble, and typing them just feels like mm, no. But that's not entirely true. I feel like a lot of that negativity may be caused from the lack of trying out essays on different switches, plus the unavailability of lower cost, high quality essay keycaps in the market. I'm talking a low price range to where a beginner would feel comfortable buying. I mean, some people might not want to spend so much on enthusiast keycaps. I've tried these out on different switches, and here are my thoughts. But first, here's what they sound like on linears, tactiles, and clicky switches in a closed control environment. Clicky switches. In this case, my box wise on my Anpro 2 is a clear winner here. Link for that keyboard below. It's obviously subjective, but it's even more obvious to me, in my opinion, essays sound best with a click. For the moment you press down until the eventual upstroke, 
It's like the weight follows through with each keystroke. It's hard to grasp, especially if you've never felt them. So I'm going to give you the best way I can to demonstrate through audio, a typing test. I'm going to use my Ampro 2 with Kale Box Whites and GK68XS with Cherry MX Blues and Gateron Reds, all with factory lube applied. A change up in format, but I think this is more fun. I was around, I think, 62 words per minute a year ago. I can only go up, right? Okay, so are Miami nights worth it? Yeah, they're awesome. From Cherry to SA, it's such a dramatic shift in typing, but not so in the fact that new experiences always come with new practices. It took me time to adjust to XDA's flat profile. Same goes with SA. If you were to grab these, I suggest clicky switches are the way to go. Linears and tactiles are a close second. Maybe, just maybe, not something like membranes. Might feel a little mushy. A year ago, I didn't even know about SA keycaps. Now, I can see why some people would go so far for quality keycaps. The build, colors, and overall look speak for themselves. If you were someone like me who dismissed SAs before actually trying them out, who knows, they just might be your favorite profile you've been looking for. In this case, the Miami Knights. Pretty great looking keycaps. Might have to try these on box jades in the future. That's the video. See you next time. Have a good one.